Good evening, welcome back to another video on the channel. So Arena Sabalenka is the new Cincinnati Masters champion after defeating Jessica Bagula in straight sets in the final. The match went as I expected. I predicted Sabalenka to win this one in straight sets. And just touching on Jessica Bagula, I think it's been a fantastic achievement for her to reach this final. She's been out with injury for a long time and returned on the hard courts last week, her favourite conditions in Toronto to win a title, then backed it up by reaching another final. And I think it's a testament to how good she is on hard courts. And she now enters US Open with huge momentum and confidence and will be confident of a big run. The conditions in Toronto and Cincinnati are very tough, humid, hot, physical. And to reach back-to-back -back finals is a testament to her fitness, desire, strength, ability to adapt her style to different opponents. And I think that they've done great things for her year in the fact that she's got to the final of both events. As I mentioned in my preview video, she physically struggled against Fernandez a couple of rounds ago. You could see it was a three-hour match and it really took its toll on Pagula. She had to fight very, very hard uh, to get through that one. Not always playing the best tennis, but as I've said, with the backing of the US crowd, with the heart and the will and desire to win that she has, she found a way to get through it and also got a great win in the semi-finals against Bedosa in tough conditions as well. But to beat Irina Sabalenka, I mean, if you're 100% your physical shape, it's difficult enough a task in itself. But to be able to defend and counter punch against Sabalenka on a fast hard court is incredibly difficult. And considering that Pagula is 100% not in physical peak shape, due to the two weeks that she's had, it was always going to be a very, very tough task. And I think, you know, it, the first set was pretty much dominated by Sabalenka, I felt. You know, Pagula never really got into Sabalenka's service games. I feel like when Pagula did use a slice, tried to extend the rallies, then she did have a little bit of success. I don't think Sabalenka in the first set absolutely hit the straps. Um, I thought Sabalenka was a little bit erratic at times, overhit a little bit uh, when the rallies were extended, but Pagula just didn't have it in her legs physically to be able to consistently extend rallies and force any errors from Sabalenka who had a fantastic day and just touching on Sabalenka now. She has gone outright favoured for the US Open, without a doubt. And it's the first title that she's won in six months. That's largely been down to the shoulder issue that she's had. She mentioned after the semi-final win that she now feels physically and mentally over that injury, which is fantastic news, not for the other players. And... Sabalenka has spoken about she didn't have full confidence in her shoulder, that she feel like she could hit through the ball with real momentum. And that's obviously a huge issue for a player with the power game of Sabalenka. But thankfully now she feels like she can fully accelerate through the ball. Her serves firing again, a backhand down the line I thought was fantastic today. The forehand into the open court. She was just in devastating fashion today. And when she performs that at, then she's more or less impossible to stop on a fast hard court. We've seen this week she's defeated. Elena in straight sets, Igor Svantec in straight sets for the very first time in her career, and now Jessica Bagula in straight sets, which are three fantastic wins against three top, top hardcore players. And I think you've got to say, you know, when Sabalenka is playing in the way she is this week and over the shoulder injury, then she's by far and away the best hardcore player in the world. Just makes the game look incredibly easy and I think you almost take for granted how good her ground strokes are and how good a serve is. The serve used to be a negative, now it's without doubt one of the best parts of her game. Serves so many aces tonight and set herself up for so many one-two punches that just consistently hit through the defences of Pagula. And even if you are 100% in physical condition and you're an excellent defender and counter-puncher, it's still an uphill task to be able to extend enough points against Sabalenka to have any success. But Pagula just didn't have the fitness. She didn't have the strength in her legs to be able to consistently run and defend and put any pressure into Sabalenka, who held serve throughout the match very, very easily. To a credit, Pagula, I thought she did have more success in the second set. I thought she changed serve position deeper to try and get more balls back in court. She looked to extend points when possible. And she kept the match close uh, for Sabalenka to serve it out with 5-4. And Sabalenka did struggle with a few nerves. She hit a double fault. 
played a very poor game to allow Pagula to level it at 5-5. Five, five. And at that point, you did think, was that a momentum switch? You know, Sabalenka looked to be cruising the victory, has she thrown the chance away? But that's where I think Sabalenka's really improved in the past couple of years. We know she lost many semi-finals and finals before getting over that major hurdle. And she immediately regrouped. You know, she got back to work, immediately started finding the ground strokes again, hitting through the defences of Pagula. And she won the last two games very comfortably to hold and win 7-5. And yeah, it was a stunning performance from Sabalenka. I wish Pagula was in a little bit better physical shape because I feel like she could have given Sabalenka a good test. But from that performance, you've got to make Sabalenka now a favourite to go on and win the US Open after beating Shriantek in the fashion that she did. Coco Goff, not in particularly good form. Then, you know, Sabalenka definitely goes in the US Open as outright favourite. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do want to leave your comments on the final below, then it would be greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video.